Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friend, this board VFD variable frequency drive board. We can adjust its frequency by manual input by keyboard. And it is used to control the speed of treadmill. The walking machine for running, for walking indoor. This board from one of my friends. First he sent it to some repairman and uh, I appreciate the work of that technical person. I don't say he damaged this board, he destroyed this board. Why? The problem w was somewhere else and he was trying to s repair something other. For example, in any power drive circuit the first option for a repairman should be to proceed to MOSFET to check the MOSFET. This MOSFET is short. This MOSFET is short. So he should proceed to this point. Why it is short? Why he did not repair this? The multimeter is giving direct continuity. So he have to follow this portion. First of all I will check it and we will discuss the circuit. If we see the circuit it is very simple and slightly it is complicated as well. In the first step, if we see here is fuse. Okay, I will take a look here. This fuse, from fuse, we are taking voltage outside. Fuse, from fuse, we have one capacitor voltage arrestor. At fuse, we have two components connected here, one and two and two are connected here to this line and this line is neutral line ACN and ACL From these two lines, the one line it's going to bridge. This line is going to bridge rectifier this point. But if we see the second line, one line connected to fuse and second line from here from this point to coming here to voltage arrestor and then it is going to this point this component 1 2 3 and black component this is relay this going this line is going to relay and from the second end of relay it's going to this point then, if we give closer look from the same input terminal which is coming directly, it is coming to this NTC. So here we have NTC, another. Then, There is an other bridge rectifier, this one, BR1. So this line is connected directly to the NTC input side. 
and NTCS 10 ohm and the bridge rectifier if you look at the second end this end is connected to main line and it's connected to bridge outside of the, of the NTC is connected to bridge and the second side is connected to this throw hole downside this point here is bridge this one is bridge so one point is connected through this NTC this main line this line coming here here NTC and bridge and if you look this line from here fuse and it's coming directly to the bridge so we can say from after fuse this line is here so we have two different sources the main bridge so it's connected here so the both points are connected to the capacitor and there is this bleeder resistor for capacitor to discharge the capacitor here it is 100k because it's in parallel of the capacitor so it's 100k resistor and meanwhile we have this capacitor here 22 microfarad and this one is 40 micro so one line is connected to positive this cut side cut side of the bridge rectifier is connected to positive and the negative side is connected to capacitor negative side negative of the bridge is connected from upper side this is from downside and this is from upper side and here is in parallel bleed resistor now first we have to see these voltage 220 volt are not going directly to this bridge these will go RL1 when this relay will operate when this relay it have control here control winding and this line coming here it will switch to this line when this coil will activate it it will energize the armature will shift the points that time these point these voltage will transfer to this point from this end from inside is going to bridge this point from this track these voltage are going to this pin so we can say we have a built-in switch this relay switch which is controlling the voltage to charge this capacitor in normal condition the voltage will go directly to this BR1 it will charge this capacitor when this board go to some repairman first of all he destroyed this transformer and he also tested some regulators here is a regulator 3 pin regulator maybe it was because we cannot test 7805 using multimeter so he removed it then it's gone there are some component missing from this point now there is no transformer it is TN277 TN277 so this transformer is not miss, uh, not available this component missing from here component missing 5 volt regulator for this um, microcontroller so first of all when we work we must work logically we should work in one line in a streamline in a proper way 
now if we go to this point from this point we have positive voltage here if you look this point it is going directly to the output terminal this is capacitor negative terminal so capacitor negative terminal is going directly to the motor this positive voltage we have MOSFET here so output of the MOSFET connected to this resistor to resistor in the center line we have two diodes it's ER1606 FCT and these two points are connected to capacitor negative terminal so this MOSFET is short this short is very badly it is short between gate source and drain so when we have MOSFET short in this way that time what happens look at the circuit these 400 volt 330 volt will switch to the driver section because this driver section it is insulated ga gate when insulated gate and gate is break down so what will happen the high voltage power supply because here just only we have plus minus 15 volt it is a signal area when this signal area will pass this positive voltage will pass to this driver and we can see this driver it is baked it is burned out now very badly so in this way this high voltage passed to this driver section when passed to this driver section the voltage regulator backside damaged here this negative voltage go to this T and Y here we have T and Y277 so this data sheet for T and Y2774 to 2780 to, sorry 280 so its circuit is like this the negative supply is go, going to source and drain is connected to drive circuit for the transformer and positive is connected to transformer positive side and we take output so the negative voltage from this capacitor are going to this IC pin number 5678 and pin number 3 this pin number 3 is connected to this winding and at the same time there is one diode and one resistor and one capacitor in parallel and in the output side if we see one two three windings it is center tape here we have two capacitors one and two two capacitors and we have two regulators then we have seven eight one five 7915 so we have circuit like this this one rectifier here in one output we have one rectifier and second rectifier it is connected to this capacitor this capacitor the center line is connected to the center portion of this these capacitors and we have output from this regulator and this regulator 
plus 15 volt regulator minus 15 78 m15 that means 78 15 volt we have two capacitors here for output now this voltage this plus and minus 15 voltage will go to driver circuit plus 15 volt minus 15 volt and it will give drive signal VFD drive this VFD drive signal is coupled to this MOSFET and there is a microcontroller it is PIC 16F680 this PIC 16F680 it is microcontroller it is a computer built-in computer to drive this VFD it will give drive signal optocoupler and optocoupler will give high and low drive to this IC actually we have four optocouplers one two three four two optocouplers for drive and two optocoupler in opposite direction if you see this dot side this dot side it is drive side it is giving signal to this IC these two optocouplers one and two these are reverse by uh, reverse connected so these are connecting the outputs to this microcontroller this microcontroller is a fully computer it will take drive pulse power drive and then what are the drive pulse the pulse issued from here will reach will pass through these optocouplers will reach to driver signal and this driver signal will reach here on the gate when this gate signal same time it is returned back to this IC that the command has been deliver, delivered successfully then in from the output portion from the output portion there is a feedback signal passing through these pins and reaching here on this coupler so it will pass that how much the power drive has been passed to the motor and when the motor will uh, run it will rotate the same time it will check the pulse and the same time this motor is mechanically coupled to encoder maybe it is optical encoder maybe it is tachometer generator anything which can transport the signal into some digital pulse sometime here is a proximity sensor that proximity sensor close to any shaft close to any metal part it is placed here when it will cut to this head when it will pass closely to this proximity sensor head it will generate a signal and we will take feedback here RPM feedback here is connected keyboard then here is connected safety a magnetic read switch 5 volt are applied to this switch and there is a magnet which is for safety we, we put it at wristband or we will we will wear in the neck so anytime anyone falls from this slips or falls from this uh, machine from the from the running running pad that time this magnet will separate from the handle from the control panel immediately this signal will disconnect the drive and that time this IC will give to this RL1 signal
this RL block signal when anyone need to power on he have to push this one and it takes VCC from this 15 volts from 15 volt to 5 volt plus 15 volt to 5 volt regulator at this point these three capacitors and it will apply VCC voltage to this microcontroller when we power on direct power will reach this bridge capacitor will charge this IC will generate voltage switch to the transformer and we will take voltage this area will be biased and this IC will biased and it will ready to take the command and at the same time it will display on the display panel it will send display at the display panel and 5 volt are here and it will communicate with display and interface at interface we have keys and different controls and switches to increase the RPM to control some preset items so this will give feedback and it will always checking and monitor the control panel and it will power on this relay when it will we need to power on we will power on and it will check the CFT then this will turn on it will turn on this relay our first condition because here is a power drive at this point there is a DC motor brush DC motor because it gives a drive pulses it will generate the microcontroller will generate generate the signal and it will give throw up to coupler to the drive circuit and this drive circuit will drive this MOSFET and this MOSFET will switch these DC voltage to the motor through this MOSFET if this MOSFET is short it will send the voltage directly to the motor and in this case short to drain source and gate so these voltage are fed to this driver IC this driver IC so this driver is damaged very badly so when it is damaged our this portion is also facing problem I uh, guess then there are ICs here that are operational amplifiers these check the voltage feedback and the amount of current flowing through this resistor from the center point it is sensing the current from these two resistor the center portion Here is a network inside and it is giving feedback to these operational amplifiers and these informations are sent back to the microcontroller that if there is a motor short circuit, if there is motor short circuit, if there is a problem, that time it will stop the command because it is too much safe circuit and if we need 4 km per hour running speed, walk speed, jogging speed it will set the frequency and it will receive the pulses from this proximity sensor, from this generator, from tachometer, from resolver, anything for feedback from optical encoder, anything that is giving feedback this is here so it will take feedback how much because it is software embedded and we can control any pin for any function so we can define the registers in the software which pin will do which function 
so we can independently we can drive and there are some error indicators there are some power indicators which are being drive from this IC and there is error indicator if there is some fault suppose there is overcurrent overcurrent draw it will give fault and it will stop the function if there is MOSFET short it will give, show the error so in that case we have to identify the safeties suppose this safety switch is not working it is not giving this read, read switch not working it will show the error if the keyboard is fail it will show the error if the optical encoder is short it is not giving a proper input it will give feedback if it sends the drive signal to MOSFET and MOSFET cannot receive this signal or cannot give feedback that time it will show error if the voltage at this point this current sensor I sense if this current sensor cannot take the output from voltage from this pin the center point of these two resistors at that time it will show the error so in any case we have to follow that commands what are the conditions now most of the time in these boards we find this rectifier short circuit if it is short replace it in this condition this MOSFET is short we have to replace but now this board is in very bad condition because I have to calculate the transformer now how we can calculate because this transformer is missing we have 15 volt regulator that means I should have 19 plus voltage here on these two capacitors so this transformer this flyback must give me output plus minus 20 volt if I will take plus minus 20 because here it is plus minus 15 volt and 1 volt 1.5 volt margin and more than that I have to select the upper limit to drive it in worst case so I have to select it approximately plus minus 22 23 volt from center tape winding so I have to design a transformer because the original transformer the last man he installed uh, removed and did not install back then we have to recover this area so we will go step by step this type of any VFD we have to check first of all the initial SMPS circuit that is the basic powering up this board first of all we have to check the voltage at these two capacitors and these two capacitors this unregulated voltage and here regulated voltage what the voltage level should that depends upon if we are here it is installed 7915 and 7815 so here must we find plus 15 minus 15 and here it is if it is here is 7812 7912 so here we will find 12 volt we have to check 5 volt VCC for this microcontroller when we power on when we turn on after that we should find voltage on this capacitor if we don't find voltage on these two capacitors we have to check regulators then we have to check these capacitors then we have to check this volt capacitor on this voltage on this capacitor if we don't find voltage here that means bridge rectifier the fuse because from fuse we are getting voltage through this NTC bridge and this circuit this is separate circuit power supply circuit and this is the main power circuit that is separately then if we find voltage here AC voltage here at this point at this point and this point 
then we have to check this relay then we have to check DC voltage at, at this point turn on power and when power on command is applied and there is no error here should be voltage so if we find voltage here and the relay transfer tries to transfer but the voltage are not transferred to other side that time we have to replace this relay why if you look at diagram the AC voltage should pass to this bridge line is one line is connected directly the second line is connected to this so this relay drive this relay drive is from this microcontroller when all safeties are fulfilled all voltage are okay and power on command is applied that time it will turn on the power if there is current flow without command that means this MOSFET is charged that time it will turn off this relay and it will cut the power so we have to check these components in that case if it is directly going to off condition it does not power on so we have to look these items friends I hope so this video is helpful for you if it is helpful remember me and your prayers and hit the like button if you want if there is some mistake something wrong please indicate the error it will your great contribution to my efforts if you find something wrong in the video please let me know and in that case you must make thumb down please make a thumb down and write the error I will try to correct it and I will personally thankful for your great contribution thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh